your trail and I'm losing your mind and I'm losing your head. Let me escape from being some love, cause I'm a prisoner. Hello guys, welcome to part two of my day in the life. I have just had a kind of brunch, I guess. It's kind of late morning snack slash kind of it's quite a large snack. I had a sandwich. It wasn't really lunch, but it was, you know, something to keep keep me going, you know, it wasn't just like a biscuit. But into this part, we're going to be taking the horses out. This is going to be probably the most exciting part because it involves jumping and travelling and all of that kind of jazz. I'm sorry I didn't do a proper intro, I was a little bit stressed at the time, I'm trying to get that on time. Hey guys, um, so I'm back now. It looks a little bit, it was, I basically I went to grab a halter, but yeah. That is kind of how it went. And yeah, basically, I just, I was bringing Foxy and Baby. I was bringing Foxy <coughs> and also a project that I have that I'm thinking of buying. Currently only on loan, but a video will be out about that soon. I bought her, so there was a joke. I bought her for a bit more kind of to teach me and then I bought the other horse for a bit of experience for him but yeah that was our jump clinic so i thought i might do a little voiceover of the jump clinic that i had on today was it was at moreland it was about an hour and a half to get over there but it was well worth the journey we are personally in quite an isolated bit of the mainland but honestly i'm not complaining it makes the area super peaceful and there's still quite a lot here it's just the equestrian area that's in central is quite hustly and bustly. <clears throat> However, I am quite happy we've got this like chill little ranch, which you know I can keep my horses on and it can be very chillaxed. But yeah, this was just just walking down. I just had this blue saddle panel that matched my jumper, so and um, tendon boots because obviously we were jumping and some breeches, saddle, all of bridle, all of that kind of jazz and. I'll just include, I'll just do a little voiceover of our jumping. So we started off the kind of jump, oops, started off the kind of jump clinic with some very, very basic flat work and stuff, just working over some poles, really, really basic, working on some lines and things. <clears throat> so this was the advanced jump clinic and we were working on it and then it, then after that, um, it was into the beginner and inexperienced horse jump and it, as you can see the poles were kind of set up in a nice little circle and we were just walking around them but yeah after this we moved on to some cross post warm up and then some bigger fences in the end we got to about a meter 15 which is not our pb at all but it's very important to work over some stuff.
So this was our <coughs> shoe jumping round over about one meter <coughs> between one meter ten and one meter fifteen. It was quite a big shoe jumping round, but yeah. So we just came in, and the first fence was this blank fence we cleared, and then it was this weird kind of three-way one, which she cleared because she a little dream. I love this pony. I'm really sorry guys, my SSO keeps all glitching any time I try to turn on my camera. It's really frustrating me, this has happened like a billion times and I'm so done with the shooting. Anyway, then we had this combination stuff with a triple bar and then an ox across and then it threw to a triple bar oxer, which she did knock unfortunately, but you know what, you can have everything in life, so yeah. And then we changed the way, we had a bit of a bad angle, we sort of changed it really, really bad. And we had a little bit of a stumble over this and proceeded to crash into a cone, but you know what? Um, nothing you can change about that. And then I took a little bit of a shortcut, so I was like, I'm not taking the long way down, you're gonna get distracted, you're gonna knock something down. So pulled her back up, gently brought her through this combo. Thank God she was clear over the first, because I don't think I could have dealt with it, but she wasn't. Then I this time just decided to come back, even though there was only one bar, and just hop through the water and she got through the player. We ended up trying the combination again, but that is pretty much the highlight from our jumping session and snap like cookie. I am so sorry, guys, I'm having some really good technical problems. Anyways, <clears throat> um, cookies, um, Jump panic went really well. It was his first time jumping off property, which is a big move for a horse, and obviously we had to be incredibly gentle with it. But I think doing it in a controlled environment like a jump panic is an incredibly good way of doing it. We were giving him some tips and told things, and this was his first ever time doing a rolled combination, not at home. So that's really really fun. He was just a really good boy, and although we've got great facilities here at Starshine, it's just really nice to have those slightly more detailed facilities. I'd be taught by somebody that's more advanced than me, you know, because every good rider can every good rider can be um, advanced and told and given top tips and things. So that is your daily reminder to no matter how good you think you are to always get a lesson because i got a few reality checks about my position and the way i was holding my hands so you know remember that it's always you've always got to get the respect of another rider and even if you're very advanced it's very important to remember that you're not always you know as good as you say as you think you are and it's great to get some other opinion from other riders but yeah this was just us doing a little course but yeah didn't get much filming in this one as yeah i just didn't want to stress him out as obviously it was his first jump clinic so <laughs> I haven't the, the vlog has been a little bit patchy but I know the last one was quite the long video so I'm gonna try to keep this one short so I don't want the series to be too lengthy but you know you do what you do um so next I was on the ferry and we took her out across country um not hunter jumping spawning at home as you guys know, she's a rescue and she's come along really well. And this was really a bit of a groundbreaking session for her. And we hacked down and warmed up on the hack and got there and did some good old jumping. So, our little session together once again, it was okay. I mean, obviously, not everything goes right. And she was jumping some new heights today. So, Obviously, we couldn't have expected the best, you know, it was a new height, you know, you've got to be realistic. 
But yeah, so generally she was, um, she did have a few breaks, but she not really had a few with me though, as you can see here, just a bit of a skid of a skid to the halt, a skid to a halt, and just. But yeah, in that kind of situation, what you need to do is you need to gently support and you need to bring them around, especially with young horses. You know they're doing it out of a bit of a tease, and you have to react to it a bit differently. But with her, I know she's a young horse; she was probably a little bit scared, so just gently guided it through her with her and she cleared it nicely again she cleared it nicely sorry um like the, the jumps but yeah she's got a nice little jump and her tail flicks up quite a lot which means that as a horse she doesn't really have to worry about catching herself on the fence because she's quite a neat little pony but yeah i'm trying to work with slowing down when coming up to fences as she got into a habit when she was previously taught to jump of just if you brush four pounds of the fences, it'll be okay in the end. And I think if you're an equestrian, then you will know that that will not work. You will skid into the fence. But yeah, I was also in this slightly slower counter as we've got quite a big sand pit. So we work in this sand pit. What's quite nice is um, as it's quite a big arena, a big arena we can work um, in quite a gentle counter. And still get those tight turns but yeah we actually did this little threading exercise so we were just working through this combo this three-way combo and just threading in between fences and jumping them but yeah that was pretty much our jumping session and I think I will finish the video here so at this point of the video we actually got a Maccas this is just a quick clip of us hacking back for a kind of sign off the video. So on the way there we got some Maccas and then uh, because what else would we get honestly? Let's be realistic here. Um, so we got some Maccas and it was really delicious. <laughs> and then I did my jump clinic. It was an hour of horse with 30 minutes kind of crossover time. So I had time to make sure they were nice and cool. Make sure they weren't sweaty or anything. Untack and tack up the next one. And yeah, just get them a little bit familiar with the new arena. So basically, overall, I spent about, and then about, uh, there was half an hour, I was there 15 minutes early, and I spent about 15 minutes there at the end. So in the end, I spent about oh, three hours actually at the event, and it was an hour and a half each way, so quite the length. So it was around. How, how long was it? I was so bad at maths. It was about a five hour round trip. I got back at about 4 pm. By the time I scooped her, it was about 5 30. So, really, like the jumping, jumping three horses, two of which off site is quite the, quite the kind of, yeah, it's quite the commitment. As I, yeah, as I said earlier in the video, I'm quite isolated where I am. So, you know, being. Being as isolated as we are, taking two horses out to a jump clinic, it's an hour and a half each way. And if I'm taking two out, it tends to, you know, be a, you know, t and it's if I'm taking two, it's realistic and realistically going to be about three hours. And then you add in time, and it's going to be a five hour round trip, you know. Obviously, it's slightly creepy if I've got an arena higher, so it's a bit more flexible. I can ride for 45 minutes instead of an hour, or and I can say, quick attack up, I don't have to wait for people. You know, the there's a lower chance for the session starting late because somebody's late, or you know, I don't have to wait for other horses, so I get the jumping that I want to do if that makes sense quicker. But yeah, I have a little counter to finish off because she was such a good girl, and I love to reward my horses with a counter. They've been good. It's really, I just literally just gallop them along on the buckle, and they just gonna have a little bit of fun just galloping free but yeah um but yeah there will be a part three of this video up next weekend you know the drill sat it will be posted by the saturday night at 7 p.m and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next week's can you go away